Today I wanna to tell you five recording tricks that have completely changed my workflow for the better, and hopefully you can implement them. Number five is hands down my favorite, so make sure you stick around for that because it's very valuable and I guarantee you that it will change everything for you. Number one, recording with max autotune. Now look, before you click off the video because you don't like what I just said, give me a second. So understand that when you're recording with maximum autotune, it's going to bring out all the flaws in the recording that you've just done. Sometimes when we record, we can't hear ourselves and we don't even know how the recording sounded. So when we have autotune on and we're recording in real time, we can hear any flaws right on the spot. So you know immediately if you need to re-record. This isn't to say that you even have to use autotune at all in your song, but this ensures that your song will be 100% in key and sound pleasing to the ear. So even if you absolutely hate autotune, I do suggest recording with max autotune just to make sure that your voice is in harmony with the instrumental. Number two is writing in your Google Drive. Now this might not apply to everybody, but if you're like me and you like to record sitting down, this is a complete game changer. For many years, I was used to recording like this with my phone out, you have the mic right here, and 90% of the time you can hardly see the phone, and you have to kind of contort your face in a very weird way to get into the mic and make sure you're staying straight into the mic. Now what I love about recording sitting down and reading it straight off of my computer from my Google Drive is that I don't have to contort my head in any weird way and hold the phone straight up like this. I can just simply put my mic a little bit to the side here and read as I go. It has made life so much easier for me. And also, you can't really lose the songs that you write unless you completely lost your Google Drive account, which is very hard to do. Google Drive is a big cloud system in which the stuff is always there. So five years down the road, when you think about a song that you made, you'll still be able to access it. I think preserving our art is huge, so Google Drive is the greatest place to do that in the most secure place, I feel. Number three is the Chaotica Eyeball Momo Vocal Booth. For independent artists like you and I, this thing is completely perfect to have. If you don't already have one, I highly suggest saving up for one. Imagine if you were able to take a vocal recording studio, but compact it into this little ball that you can take anywhere you need to. As an independent artist, I found that this thing has been the most amazing tool when it comes to getting crisp, clean vocals and kind of keeping that room reverb out of my vocal recordings, because that can really mess up your recording. Keep in mind, the most important part of recording vocals is making sure the first take is clean so that when you mix, you have less bad frequencies coming up through the mix. Chaotic Eyeball allows you to record outside if you want to, in a humongous gymnasium if for some reason you're in that situation, which I doubt. It's something that's great for travel and it's something that I use every single day, even in my own house. Number four is recording a melody without lyrics. All too often I see writers focus on the words too much and I know this sounds insane because of course the song requires words, but understand that sometimes it's more optimal to know our melody and then add the words around the melody. This is what artists like Juice World, Lil Wayne, people who don't really write their songs and they do a lot of takes punching in typically do this. Now I know this is confusing so let me just show you an example. So right here I'm just gonna go to this random beat and show you and try it out. So for instance, that's something that I would record into FL Studio, and then I would play it back constantly until I start to find words for it. So the workflow would be something like this. I know my heart's racing. I can catch up to the pacing. That all these problems that I'm facing. So you see how I'm starting to get some word enders in a rhyme scheme together based on the melody that I had already started. Now I know this sounds absolutely silly, but it's completely fine because it's literally how I work. Start with the melody, let the words develop into the melody. This is how you can ensure that you maintain an addicting melody. Words are great, but you gotta understand that the most important part is that addicting sound. Number five in my all-time favorite recording hack are high quality vocal presets. And now this really relates to the auto-tune trick that I use, right? So the reason that I like the auto-tune is because I want my vocals to be of highest quality when I hear them back in my headphones while I'm recording. Now what vocal presets allow you to do is to have that ability to have a vocal that pops while you're recording and listening back. So let me tell you why this has saved me so much time and why I can do the same for you. Understand that when you have that nice clean mix, you're hearing the song as if it were a finished product. Not that it's a finished product, but at least it has a starting point, a 
clean mix and it has that radio ready sound already. So what it allows you to do is figure out if you're actually going to enjoy this song. Oftentimes when we're recording raw vocals, we don't really know how it's gonna turn out. But if you have our vocal presets and our mastering chains, you're gonna have a really big indication as to if this song is worth continuing and if you actually love it. So if you guys are interested in a pack that's compatible with most big DAWs and can be used on essentially any genre of music, I highly suggest that you check out Vocal Sauce 3. And if you're not the best mix engineer and you're trying to learn, you can use these to A, learn, and also to save money because you won't have to hire an engineer for all your tracks. And you may be skeptical, so I wanna do you a favor and just show you some of the before and afters. Here's our pack, Vocal Sauce 3, that I mentioned, for instance. Let me just go ahead and show you on the website, and all these packs have these before and afters. They're awesome. You sad. Before. I don't wanna make you sad no more. I just wanna make you laugh. And then let's listen to the after. I don't wanna make you sad. I don't wanna make you sad no more. I just wanna make you laugh. These are literally the best presets on the internet, and that's why I partnered with this company because I believe in what they do. And I've been using presets for a long time. This website literally changed my life, and I'm blessed to be partnered with them. If you guys have any recording tricks that you suggest that I use, please let me know because I love to learn from you guys. And if you guys have any questions about my tricks, please let me know in the comments below. That's all we got for today. Peace.